Roblox would start banning their most popular YouTubers. That kind of seemed a little counterproductive. Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new Roblox video. Hope you guys are absolutely fantastic. Ready for another action bag video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a bit of a weird video today. Got some news to talk about. Now, a little bit of a sad story. I will be honest. Two of the bros got their Roblox accounts completely banned along with their Roblox groups themselves. Now, we'll go uh, to my friends quickly because I do want to see. I did have Poke as a friend, obviously. I don't know if he's back, but apparently everyone that had him as a friend. Okay, no, hold on. You can't click him! Oh my god, he's totally... He might be blacked out. I can't click his... I can click everybody else's profile except for him. Oh my god, it's actually true. All right, we're gonna search up Poke Digger 1. Poke Digger 1 in players and we'll see what happens. Come on, be there, dude, be there. He's literally not... He's literally not there. He's completely banned. Now, you might be asking, why was he banned? Also, actually, before we get into it, Landon RB was also banned. Hold on. We're now on Poke's Twitter, and we can see that he uploaded a video called, I'm sorry, terminated from Roblox. But apparently, people started tweeting the other day, what the heck, Poke Digger just got banned. Free my boy Sloth, of course. I don't even, well, I do kind of know. Apparently, Roblox changed their terms of service to say that you can't give away free Robux. So I've given away free Robux a few times, but let's pretend that didn't happen. But I mean, regardless, if I won, I'll still give you guys Roblox. It's really not up to them. It's up to me. Landon also got hit with the same thing. We go on his Twitter. He says, uh, um, Roblox strikes again to poke. And he's got tweets the other day saying, waiting for Roblox to call me back, playing Roblox with a perm banned account. That's pretty insane. And then he said the other day, I know a way to give out free Robux that is allowed. Something that kind of, it's a little bit of a gray area loophole in their terms of service. But I still can't believe that these people got legitimately banned off Roblox completely. And it's because they gave away free Robux to fans in their group. Now I'm thinking, why guys? Guys, are you seriously thinking that by giving them free Robux, Roblox is losing out on my, I don't even know what their reasoning is other than, don't do it cause I said so. Which is your classic teacher and parents response. It's, I said so, so don't do it. But honestly, the people buy the Robux, they spend the Robux on the t-shirts, and then, now that they have the t-shirts, people give them a little bit of Roblox ba Robux bag. I think it's no big deal at all. Now, I also checked Mark's Twitter the other day, and apparently Mark is getting hit with the same thing. He got a message from Roblox saying that he violated their terms of service, and potentially, Mark could get banned as well. But I just want to know, what's your guys' opinion? Why is Roblox targeting YouTubers right now? I think one of the biggest reasons why Roblox is so big is because of the YouTuber community right now. And it really doesn't make any sense that Roblox would start banning their most popular YouTubers. That kind of seems a little counterproductive. Now, just for a joke, we're going to type in free Robux into the games tab and we're going to see how many games pop up that says free Robux. Okay, get free admin. Robux, free Robux, 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 all the way down. There is, oh, it doesn't even show me how many search results there are. But I'm on the second page, third page just loaded, fourth page just loaded. Ladies and gentlemen, there's probably, if I were to guess, 500 to 1,000 plus games that are titled free VIP, free admin, free Robux, free this, free that. And uh, I don't know, I guess Roblox doesn't really have anything better to do other than to uh, ban YouTubers that are promoting their game quite heavily, to be honest. When there's five people playing this free Robux game that's rated 50%, this one's rated like 20%, uh, two people playing it, nine people playing this one, there's people playing all these, 43 people are playing this game and it's rated like 20%. Roblox, are you kidding me? Instead of banning the people that are promoting your game, let's try to make the game better and ban the people that are actually trying to scam you on Roblox. Mark, Poke, Lando, they didn't scam people. They're literally giving back to the community that helped them. It's, 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 I don't know. People feel how they want to feel with the giveaways, but honestly, I'm, I think they're no big deal. I think that it's such a small concern where Roblox could actually be legitimately fixing on things that could benefit their game rather than uh, 
basically causing drama, I'm gonna say. It's definitely a little bit weird. We're gonna hop into this game just to see exactly how much time and effort Roblox is putting into their game and how much effort they're putting into stopping people from giving away free Robux. So the first thing it says, it says buy game passes in the store. So there's not even a welcome to the game. It's literally just like, hey, you found me. Give me your money. What the heck? Original version, like and favorite. If you want famous YouTubers to play, like Dan TDM, Dennis Daly, or Ethan Gamer, message them and let them know you did not receive Roblox on this game. It's just a tycoon based off Roblox, obviously. So this is just a big uh, clickbait. Actually, I'm all right with this one because it doesn't say free Robux. We're going to try it. Uh, apparently, Landon did play this game. It says at the bottom, thank you to Landon. You will get admin. But I want to see. It's obviously just a basic tycoon. And of course, they hit me with the most copyrighted music in Roblox. And holy crap, yeah. Okay, this is a very basic, basic tycoon. Not much in it. A uh, little tunnel or something there. But not as bad as I thought. I thought this game was going to be a complete sell. Like the, it was what? A couple months ago, there was a game on the Roblox top page. Literally right, I'll show you guys. Literally on the home page. We are on the first page of the popular tab. It was Jailbreak, Meep City, Bloxburg, Phantom Force, whatever it is. And then fifth or sixth in a row, or in line, was a game called Free Robux. And it wasn't even a game. The game, as soon as you launched it, they had like a fake amount of players. It said there was 8,000 people playing, but there was no game to play. So obviously there wasn't 8,000 people. It was a bit of a glitch. But it stayed on the most popular page for like four days. And people couldn't believe it. Like, did you guys take a holiday? Is nobody working at the Roblox studio right now that they can't even go on the popular tab and see that there's a game that says, download my iOS app for free cash. It was such a scam and it stayed up for so, so long. I couldn't believe it. All right, that's going to be it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get back to class right now. But uh, let me know what you guys think. 5% off Robux. So this game is actually telling people that they can get a 5% discount if they buy Roblox or Robux through this game. Let me know what your opinion on it is. I just think that it's a little bit unnecessary. Regardless if they just changed their terms of service late. I think that's kind of what happened. I think it was always allowed to happen. And then all of a sudden one day they just changed their rules. And once they did that, then they started banning people that was not, uh, not following their rules. Which I think, let's not try to kill off Roblox. Let's try to keep Roblox going. And let's uh, not ban the YouTubers that promote the game. I think that there's bigger issues uh, that Roblox could be working on. Let me know in the comment section down below. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Never fade away.